What's up, YouTube? Mimi here, coming at you from my channel, Bunny Broody Gator. Hi, you guys. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing with their social distancing? We are all doing well here in my household. Just busy as usual with homeschool and videos and laundry and cleaning the house and all that normal household stuff. It's pretty regular for us. Um, typically, we only get out once a week anyways, so we are dealing with it really, really well. You guys, let me know how you're doing. What sort of things are you doing that you don't normally have time for? Like, what sort of things are you guys enjoying about this time at home, this time of a slower pace? Let me know down in the comments and in the chat since this is live. You guys, let me know what you're enjoying. One thing I'm enjoying right away is my brand new slippers that I showed in yesterday's live haul. These were $1 slippers, you guys, and I got them from Walmart. I'm grabbing the other pair to show you guys in case you missed yesterday's $1 clothing and slipper haul. This is actually another pair that I got for $1. I am wearing those and enjoying them. And yes, you guys, they do have them on walmart.com if you guys are in the mood to do some online clearance shopping. But yes, you guys, I'm here for a Dollar Tree haul. The pillow, unfortunately, isn't from Dollar Tree. It was from Amazon. You guys, I love cactus and I wanted to kind of talk about a couple favorite things before I started the haul. Like this super cute little tin. I've still been seeing these at Dollar Tree lately. Um, I love them so, so much. You guys know I love cactus. And also the little bracelets. I got these there last spring. I'm really, really hoping that they bring these back. Do you guys remember that during the summer I left these at Bath and Body Works when I washed my hands and I had to go back um, a, a week later and get them. But these are like those little glass bracelets that were up in the impulse buy section. I'm really hoping to see more of these this coming spring and summer. And also the cup, the cup, it's so sturdy, you guys. It is so, so sturdy. It's such a nice quality piece. I've really been enjoying it. I've been using it a lot. I have some pens in here that I really like. This came off eBay. This is a little cute pen that I got from Uli. Uli.com, you guys, if you want to see some really, really cute stuff. I love their stationery. These little pens are from Daiso. This one's also from Uli. I love how this one writes. I also have a little Uli eraser in here. Yeah, you guys, I have some really, really cute things in here. I really do hope they bring these back in the spring and summer. And you guys know how Dollar Tree is. They typically bring things back every summer, every spring. There's a lot of items that get brought back. My tripod had it set up from last night. Now I'm like, mm, do I like the angle of it? I think it'll be okay for now. But before we get all the way started, I guess we kind of already did. You guys, this is the lotion that I want to put on. I've never been to Daiso either, Ice Water. My best friend in Seattle sent me some items uh, about a year ago, and those were some of the pens. This is today's lotion, the lotion of the day by Raw Sugar. This is the Raw Coconut and Mango Body Butter. You guys, it's really, really nice and thick. And you can find a lot of these raw sugar items at Walgreens and at Target. Luna, it's hot there. How hot is it today? How hot is it today? And what city are you in? Oh, you guys, I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. It's so silky and nice. I always like to start off with some lotion because you know how it is right now. Everybody's hands are super dry. Luna, you got two Unicorn and My Little Pony gel pens. I saw the three pack of My Little Pony gel pens in Dollar Tree and they looked really, really cute. You guys, I have a lot of pre-recorded videos that will be going up for you. Tina, it's it's raining here in Minnesota too. You guys, um, I have a lot of pre-recorded videos that are gonna go up for you guys. I have two to three that are kind of like what's left in my store, kind of a 
historical reference from Monday. Um, all I haven't been out since um, since Monday. Hi, Ayutal in Jamaica. Bless up. Um, yeah, you guys, so all my videos that you see are going to be pre-recorded in the stores. Some of them are going to be what's left on my shelves. Like I said, historical reference to what we're going through right now. And some of the other ones I'm going to be sharing with you guys, also pre-recorded, are going to be new spring and summer shoes, new handbags, um, new sleepwear, and stuff like that. So things to look forward to and or things to look at online if you're interested. Things to, you know, think about the spring and the summer and looking forward to the time when um, we are all done with our social uh, distancing. Hi, April Baby Bunny in Mexico City. Hi, April. Hi to everyone in the live stream. You guys, I'm going to be supplementing live streams and pre-recorded footage. Um, within the stores. I am not currently in the stores, so you guys don't worry about me. I am home. And my kids are going on uh, this Saturday. They would have been home for two weeks straight. They have not gone to any stores with me. So the family is doing well, you guys. And since we have a nice chunk of BBs here in the live stream, in the chat, let's get started with the haul, you guys, because I found some new things. This, these were from a couple times ago that I went and I just had gotten a couple things, mostly focusing on groceries, but these are the brand new Jelly Nutrient Mists. And it seems like they're a little bit thicker than, now these are some of the other new ones, the Facial Mists, and I've used this a couple times. Birdie and I both really, really like these. This is the Coconut and Rose Hip with Hydrolonic Acid and it's free from dyes and formaldehyde and parabens and all that stuff. So this one is a little um, thinner like water, but this one is more jelly-like. Hi, no reply in North Carolina. Where are you in North Carolina? I spent a lot of my summers uh, in the, like the Kitty Hawk Nags Head area at the beach. I have many, many, many happy memories at the beach with my cousins and my grandparents. Oh, love that place. Hi from Paloma. You love the cactus? Yes, I am such a huge cactus lover. But you guys, these are some of the new ones. Oh no, Tina. I hope your puppy's okay. These are the nutrient mists, you guys. Um, I haven't opened any of them. They're still sealed. Maybe towards the end of the video, uh, I'll like let you guys know, do they smell good? Do they stink? Hi, Colleen in New Jersey. Jelly nutrient mist, you guys. Lychee and watermelon. They have so many new wipes by Bolero. Hi, Marvelous. We have so many um, new products. Hi, Linda and Rachel. We have that, we have that one. Um, Birdie and I had tried a couple of these. Also, another scent. I'll just stand these up, I guess. Stand them up here. Or stand them up back here. So those of you joining can kind of see what, we've, what we're looking at already. They also have this aloe and rose water. Marvelous. When I went into Dollar Tree on Monday, they did not have any toilet paper. But they said that on their truck day, which is today, they might be getting more. So you guys don't count out Dollar Tree as a resource. Hi, Marissa in Minnesota. I'm in Minnesota too. Um, Dollar Tree, two places I was pleasantly surprised with were Dollar Tree and Walgreens being such a great resource. And you guys, Walgreens is even offering drive through uh, some of the 24-hour locations, just call your store if you're curious about it. But if you need to get out and you need to pick up prescriptions anyways, Walgreens is offering their drive through as a resource. Hi, Morel in the Netherlands. Walgreens is offering their drive through as a resource for additional household items. So if you say, hey, do you have any 
Ajax detergent or any Tide or any toilet paper, you can drive through the drive through at Walgreens and pay for those items without going in the store because the store is also a pharmacy. It might be a little more high risk than some other stores. So yeah, you guys, I'm thinking about putting together a list of all the stores that are closed and all the stores that have limited hours and limited conditions. I don't know. You guys just let me know in the chat and in the comments if that's something you guys would want, if you'd want to see, because we have a lot of stores here in the U.S. that are closing um, until the 27th or until April 2nd. A whole, whole lot of stores that are closed and pretty much all the remaining stores that are open have limited hours and or conditions. Walmarts are no longer 24 hours. Um, even Walgreens are closing at 9 we also have a lot of, uh, let's see, Target has a senior on Wednesday, a senior hour on Wednesdays. The first hour of the store opening is for seniors and people with um, existing health issues, um, you know, folks with diabetes that may have immune system uh, sensitivities. Yeah, you guys. So I love that a lot of the stores are opening their first hour. Dollar General is also opening their first hour of their stores just to seniors and people in the with the conditions that I mentioned. So I'm like standing here holding this bottle forever. But yeah, you guys, um, these are the new jelly mists. And I'm really excited to try them. Like I said, I might open all of these. Vitamin C and strawberry. Walmart is like an eight hour store now. I know Elantra, it's just, it's so weird, but like I totally get it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dropping stuff already, you guys. Dropping stuff already. I just had to put the little cactus here because I really hope these come back. Are you leaving, Luna? Bye, Luna. You guys, we also have a whole bunch of packaged, which makes me feel really nice considering everything going on. It's nice and sanitary inside, but we have a whole bunch of packaged eye creams, face jellies, face masks, and things like that. Like, this is so cute. I love the packaging. I got this for Birdie to try. This is the brightening eye cream with banana extract. I want to try it too, though. Provides instant brightness and lightweight hydration to reduce the look of tired eyes and to awaken your natural beauty. Not like she really needs eye cream, but she is really getting into caring for her skin. And um, I'm trying to encourage her to hydrate as well, like with the simple moisturizer with the SPF. So I'm really happy to see these. These are super, super cute. Can't wait to smell the banana. Yes, you guys. I have some other cute things to share with you guys. Very simple. This is a very simple little haul, but I do have some other things to share with you guys. Let's get some boring stuff out of the way, though. I did, but I was happy to find this. I love this Fabuloso. This is lavender. It smells so amazing. It's 30% more. Yes, I got two of those when I went in on Monday. Love that scent so, so much. Let's see, what else do I have to share with you guys? You guys know those little glass ramekins for like dips and things? I swear we have one of those break every week. So last time I went in, I couldn't find any of the glass ramekins, so I got some of these. Hi, Lynette, so happy you're here. Um, yeah, you guys, I got some of these either last Monday or the Tuesday before. Um, two weeks ago, I think it was two weeks ago that I bought these and I've been saving them for the haul because I really have just been focusing on grocery items lately like all of us have been. I haven't been doing a whole lot of um, fun shopping. The, this is something also that I got two weeks ago. Um, the antibacterial moist wipes for hands and face. One package is what they had. This is the brand, what, what brand is this? I don't even know what brand it is, you guys. But this was up in the impulse buy section and as of two weeks ago, my store still had had seven of these plus this one, so they, they had eight in stock. But I didn't see any as of Monday when I went in. So I just bought the one and I left the seven on the shelf. Yeah, these are for, um, I think it's for face. 
Let's see, pre-moisten wipes. Oh yeah, for hands and face. These are not flushable wipes. These are antibacterial for hands and face. Again, there were eight in my store and I just bought the one. As of two weeks ago, hi Kiana. As of two weeks ago, in my Dollar Tree, there were no limits on anything. When I went the other day on Monday, there were no limits on any on things as well. My Dollar Tree has not enforced any limits on anything. So, yeah. And I feel like I was pleasantly surprised when I went in there because they had, they still had, um, a little bit of pasta. Now the video I'm gonna put up tonight is a video that I filmed on Monday and I'm titling it like, you know, empty shelves in Dollar Tree, question mark. And I did find some empty shelves. Um, however, there was still a small supply of certain things that I really needed and I was happy to find the amounts that I did find and pleasantly surprised to find things in there that I hadn't seen anywhere else. Hi, Mimi Monty. Yes, these are so pretty and I wanna open this up for you guys. I got these two weeks ago. I think they are just so gorgeous. They're calling them Easter eggs. Let me open up the package. They're calling them Easter eggs. But you know what, you guys? I want to use these for giving jewelry. I just wanna save these and just have them for like birthdays, Christmas stocking stuffers. Now, I cut my nails the other day because they were just chipping away after me being out on Monday and using hand sanitizer all day. My nails were just like breaking, like just from being so dry. So. Aren't they cute, you guys? Aren't they cute? One of my subscribers was saying that she was gonna make a wreath with these. And I said, please, please, please show me, share with me on Instagram or email a picture to me because I just think these are so pretty. Look at that, you guys, they're just so pretty. You guys know I love iridescent. I love iridescent. It is so, 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 so pretty. Yes, summer vibes. I thought I could put a little fluffy stuff inside. I mean, look at that shine, you guys. These are just stunning. They are stunning, stunning, stunning. I love them. I just love them so much. I think they're the prettiest little Easter eggs that I've ever seen. And you get five in a pack. Yes, Kaylin. Kaylin, the face mist is amazing. I haven't tried the Nutrient Mist yet. We're gonna open that up. But I have, I'm have. i wearing some of this right now. I really, really like it on top of um, like a moisturizer. Like I'm just using an oil of Olay lately with SPF. Um, I really like it. I really, really like it. It's more so a mist and not a setting spray. So if you are just at home with a clean face, in moisturizer and you and you have like dry skin or combo skin, I would suggest using that. I have very dry skin. But anyways, you guys, I'm just so obsessed with these. They're so, so cute. What do I have left? I only have a couple things left, you guys. I have this hand sanitizer I got two weeks ago. However, it has no alcohol in it, and I really didn't realize it until after the fact, and this was the last one they had in the store up by the Tupperware when you first walk in, and I realized it is alcohol-free, so I'm a little hesitant, like I probably wouldn't have ever been hesitant about it, but um, yeah, this uh, these are 2.7 ounces each. It's alcohol-free, and uh, now I'm like, Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? So I kind of bought it hastily. It says it has this ingredient, which is just an antiseptic. Again, this is something that I got two weeks ago. Alcohol free though, you guys. So I'm not sure how effective it will be, but still I was happy to have it. Hi Jess and La Werita girl. Yes. I still have a couple more items to share, not a whole, whole lot, but 
This is another item that I got and I was really happy to find it because um, I, I really am not a big eating out sort of person, but I really love how squishy this is. This is a little travel dressing container. I mean, you could put dressing in it or maybe if you want to put your own coffee creamer in it. I just thought of that just now. Like maybe you're traveling and maybe you want to put your own coffee creamer in it. Like you're going to stay somewhere. Now we're talking down the line, you guys, because I know everyone's doing their social distancing right now, but this could be perfect for, um, you know, when we're back in society, back circulating as normal coffee creamer, um, salad dressing, whatever you want to put in it, you know? This is just a perfect little thing, and I know these have been out for a while, but I never had a desire to get one. Now I do, you guys, because I am on my weight loss journey, finally on my weight loss journey, and yeah, I was like, I need it. Oh, Mimi Monty said she tried it for shampoo. And I just love how squishy it is. It's just like very, very satisfying for whatever we're going to put in it, you guys. I could just squish this all day. It's like super, super satisfying. It's by the brand Cooking Concepts. Oh, Mimi Monty Monty says, and she was surprised it didn't leak. That's really good to hear because, you know, you kind of wonder. Like the last thing I would want to do is have this in my purse. Me, I would probably put it in a bag, just, you know, but imagine if you put it in your purse and now you have like sticky, heavily scented, thick coffee creamer, especially if you're like me and you like hazelnut. I've been doing the zero sugar hazelnut. To those of you that may be on Weight Watchers, it's zero points, which means you don't have to measure. You can just pour it in your coffee and live life as you normally do and not count any points. And I've been really loving that about the Coffee Mate sugar-free creamer. Really, really loving it when I can find it. Um, I also got another one of these baskets, you guys. Another one of these baskets. You guys know the one. Um... Gator dropped a big snow boot on one that I had sitting out here with some items in it and it just cracked all down the side. So I was like, let me get a replacement. I really like these. Um, they're really good. I mean, I haven't had any problems with any breaking, but you know, that was a little bit of a um, accident. So my last item, you guys, is this. In my video, I was like, which one should I get? I think it's the video I'm putting up tonight. They had the little, um, what are the ones called, you guys? The ones with the peel-off stickers. I was debating between those and these. And the reason I got these is because these are just going to go in the shower for our scrubbies. Everyone else calls them loofahs. I call them scrubbies. You guys know the little plastic things on the, on the uh, string? Yeah. Um, what's the brand? Elantra is saying both are good. I'm hoping these will stick, but they have the little hook and I figure I could just do a line of these. Right now we're all kind of sharing a command. What is it called, you guys? Command hook? You guys know I should know all the brands with all the stores that I'm in. Yeah, command. But I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get these. So it's nine of them. I'm only gonna need, my oldest son doesn't really like using scrubbies, so I'm probably only going to use four of them. Oh, Luna, you got another sketchbook? Those green sketchbooks from Dollar Tree are really good. My kids really, really love them. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to open. Let's open some of these, you guys. Let's open and smell. I think we'll open up... I think we're going to open up... Um, which, what's this one? Vitamin C and strawberry. Let's do that one. Vitamin C and strawberry. Yeah, we didn't get, I didn't get any more of this green sketchbooks either for my kids. They really like those, but I don't really know where they are on needing sketchbooks or not because sometimes they just run through the sketchbooks and then other times they, they really don't need them as much. Oh, and Five Below, even though they're not open anymore, Five Below is closed for a couple weeks. Hi, Wiccan Witch from Cali. Five Below is closed, except you guys could always go to their website, but they also have some really, really nice sketchbooks. 
vitamin C and strawberry. Okay, I want to smell. I want to show you guys the consistency too. This is reminding me of something. Um, kind of has a cheapy, uh, a cheapy strawberry smell. It's okay. This one gets the nah. This one is okay. I haven't used it on my skin yet. I'm gonna try it. Actually, try it on my hand for you guys. Probably have to do it. Give it a few pumps. That's what it's going on like. Hmm. Okay, feels nice. You know what? It feels a little bit hydrating. Ooh, I think I like it. For those of us that have really dry skin, that feels so nice. They're calling it a nutrient mist. Ooh, I think I'm gonna really like these. Okay, I didn't get all of them for me though. I'm gonna share with Birdie. Next, we're gonna open up the lychee and watermelon. Lychee and watermelon. Yes, Mimi, it's it's kind of like a serum, but a little less oil-based. So here's the lychee and watermelon. Which item do I think is best for oily skin? You know what, I have super dry skin, so unfortunately I can't offer any recommendations um, based on my you know, skin. However, the facial mists are very light and nice to put over a moisturizer. This, I would say, for oily skin, probably don't do it because this feels heavier. It feels like, it feels like a very, um, it, it feels like I just put moisturizer on, actually. Hmm, this one, this one smells really clean like a hand soap. Let's try this one out too. We'll try this one out on my other hand. I'm so happy you guys are all here. Can we get 75 likes during the live stream? You guys show YouTube that you like my content and that you're totally okay with me filming at home. Considering all this, you guys, show me some love, you guys, so that my additional at-home live streams can do well over the next couple weeks. Please, you guys, hit the like button. I'm not seeing any shimmer, no, no shimmer. Wow, it feels really great. It feels so nice, like so, so nice. This one, I love it too. That's the lychee and watermelon. Let's see, I had a lid somewhere. I don't know where I put it now. Oh, here it is. So two thumbs up for both of these so far really happy. They don't smell the best, but they don't stink, you know? Okay, last one is aloe and rose water. And I think I bought all three of the nutrient mists. Now they had, um, they had, you guys, whenever you're able to, and whenever we get through all of this, you guys are going to have these to look forward to because they had so many new facial wipes. They had new bath bombs. These nutrient mist jellies. Uh, thank you, Carmen. Love you, honey. Um, you guys are going to have a lot to look forward to when you're able to go back out into the stores again. This is the aloe and rose water. I think I'm just going to spray it here on my arm. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's going on here. Hmm. Hopefully that's not an irritation to something I just put on. I, I feel fine though. Okay. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of a very thin aloe vera gel. Hmm. Hi, Nancy. Yes, Nancy. I haven't been out since Monday. And um, all my videos, my skin is really red. Yeah, it is. Um, Hi, Sarah. Yes, you guys, all my shopping videos that you guys are watching, whether I put it on the screen or not, um, may or may not, uh, I may or may not put the date on the screen, but all of my videos I'm sharing with you guys at this point that are shopping videos are pre-recorded because I know you guys have really been caring about me and been, you know, wondering, you know, what I'm like as far as, 
Am I looking out for my family? Am I looking out for myself and my own safety and the safety of others? Yes, I am. You guys, I really, really, really am. And um, I haven't been out since Monday. So this is going to be pre-recorded stuff. And you guys know, except for the food and cleaning items and all that stuff, all of these items are going to be there when we get through this. So all of these items, you guys are going to be able to look forward to getting at your stores. They're not going anywhere. So, you know, please don't run out and feel like, oh, I want to get the new nutrient mist or whatever. But yeah, you guys, we're going to play it safe. I really like this one. This one Aloe and rose water. Let me smell it again. This one is probably my favorite scent. Um, the other ones are just meh, but I really, really like this. I really, really, really like it. Aloe and rose water, formula, formulated with nature's most soothing ingredients to keep skin healthy and happy. Thank you so much, Lynette. I appreciate you too, honey. These feel so nice. I'm actually really, really impressed with these. Super, super impressed with these. Now the other one said no parabens and all that other stuff, but I'm not seeing that. <sighs> Let me blow the crumbs away once and for all, you guys. Um, I'm not seeing that on this packaging. Now we have the banana extract. Um, and it's saying for all skin types, but I'm not seeing the whole, like, you know, I'm not seeing this on the new stuff. Free from parabens, dyes, and formaldehyde. So I don't know. Do we assume that these are free from that as well? Or do we assume that it's not? I mean, I don't know what to think, you guys. It says designed and formulated in the USA, but made in China. They have a website. Maybe we could go on their website if we are like very concerned with um, the ingredients. The website is bolerohd.com. Close eyes, lightly spray, mist three to four inches away from skin for a dewy glow. None of these have, it looks like it has shimmer. You guys see that? It really looks like it has shimmer, but it doesn't go on shimmery. I think that's where I put the aloe one. It doesn't go on shimmery at all. But yeah, you guys, I am definitely excited. I would say my favorite items. Bye, Luna. Thank you for being here, Luna. See you, honey. I am definitely excited to try this, but since I got it for Birdie, I'm going to let her open it and try it on. These, thumbs up. These right here. And I am really, really satisfied with the shells. I think they're so, so, so beautiful. Whether you want to use them for Easter or if you guys find these and just want to save them for a summer theme, like you love them too, Jess, a summer theme. That's okay, Luna. Bye, honey. Birthday, wreath, project, whatever, like... I love them so, so much. I wasn't sure if they were going to have the little hinge on the bottom, and they don't have the hinge. So there we go. Just wanted to open one up for you guys again. That's what they look like on the inside. And I am going to be using these for jewelry gifts. That's why I got two bags, because I love going to Claire's. Claire's, of course, is amongst the list of stores that are closed. But I love going to Claire's when they have the buy three, get three free sale, and it's like $1 items, and you're getting six items for six bucks, or whatever it is, you guys, $2 clearance. Yeah, and then you end up having six items for six bucks, but they are so cute. Brie uses these for her LOL doll accessories. Aw, that is so cute. Yeah, you guys. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. But yeah, you guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys need a list of all the stores that are closed right now or if you want information like that on the channel. If you guys just want me to continue with live streams and pre-recorded videos, that's fine too. I don't have a whole, whole lot left to haul. I do have a couple 
um, things that came in the mail that are kind of random. I have a massager and I fi figured now is a good time for a massage. Hi, Simply Jessica. Um, I do have a massager that a company sent me off Amazon that is awesome that I wouldn't mind reviewing. I know kind of random. Um, and I do have another super random item that we are going to try to mount today. We got a new stove hood fan vent thing and it's like stainless steel with led lights i'm looking over at it we were trying to mount it but we need to do a little modification um with mounting it so my dad is gonna drop off his drill today he's like yep i'm gonna drop it off on the porch i'm like okay dad so he's gonna drop off his drill today for us to borrow and um yeah we're gonna do that so Hopefully, um, also during this time, I might have some more Shein hauls for you guys, possibly a Coopshe swimsuit haul, and um, one from this company called Yoins. It's kind of like, um, uh, kind of like Shein, not really, but yeah, you guys, I might have some other hauls and some other products coming to the house for the sake of being able to do live streams and share products with you guys and just, you know, trying to um, continue to deliver entertainment and two videos a day for you guys to keep you guys from being bored and let's keep us all connected and, and those of us that love to shop, we can still talk about these sort of things. But yeah, you guys, if you have other content ideas and things you're interested in seeing, please let me know. I would love to try some TikTok hacks. I would love to do maybe a couple challenges or something with the kids. So yeah, you guys, just let me know what you want to see. I'm open now more than ever to do other content that allows me to be at home safe with my family and allows us all to be here safe and just a time of being really creative. Like even all the talk shows are at home, you know, Trevor Noah, Jimmy Fallon, they're all filming at home, filming the show from home, which is just so awesome and so amazing. Like, you know, it's just so cool. Like it is just such a time, you guys, where we're just seeing things done so differently, like in a way. I mean, like I said, I'm used to being at home a lot because I homeschool anyways, and I've always homeschooled, and I typically don't go out but once a week anyways during the school week. But I, just the idea of everyone doing things from home, even these big companies um, or, you know, like talk shows. I have to research Ellen because I haven't seen Ellen. I haven't seen that pop up in my suggested yet, and I'm wondering – what's going on. I'm going to have to go on over to her channel today because I love Ellen and that has not popped up in my suggested. So I'm like, Ellen, what, I need to see a show from home. Like, what is Ellen going to be doing, you guys? Is she going to be dancing? Is she going to be like, I, I'm just really curious. But to be honest, I've just been trying to keep up with what I have going on here in the house and the channel and and school and everything else. So it's just very freeing, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's just very freeing in a way to know that this is a time to try a bunch of different things. Yeah, Jimmy Fallon is doing his show from home and Trevor Noah as well. He was calling it uh, social distancing, the daily social distancing show or something like that. So I'm really, really... Um, excited to see all of the creativity and just like real life at home connections that we're all able to make with each other during this time because I think something about it is is so very genuine and it comes from a place of necessity but it also allows us to open up a little more like yesterday I was actually on camera doing a live stream like you know, me, my face, not just showing products. And that was really, really awesome. Not saying I'm going to do it like all the time, because to be honest, sometimes it's just easy to just say, okay, let's get, yes, yeah, Simply Jessica. Those are amazing. 
sometimes it's just easy just to say, okay, let's get to the meat of it and let's just talk and let's not worry about looks and hair and makeup and clothes and lighting and all this other stuff. So it's really easy just to have the, the phone recording like this, showing things down here. It's like super easy and you can be a little more spontaneous sometimes and not worry about a bunch of other stuff. F. Miller's asking what I do DIYs. Um, I know it's like three weeks ago. I was like, oh, DIY hand sanitizer, but I'm over that. Um, hey, Bridget in New Orleans. Yes, you'd like to see me do some DIY. Hmm, what would I make, you guys? I don't know. I'm still kind of in that like incubation mode, thinking about other things that I could do. I know some of you have requested cooking and I'm gonna try, you guys, I'm just trying to keep up with all the edits and the uploads, but I am starting to, I'm, one thing I'm gonna add to my channel uh, once a week, once or twice a week, is that I am gonna start sharing my YouTube stories on my channel because they, disappear just like Snapchat stories. And to those of you that are only watching on maybe, um, if you're watching on something other than a smartphone, you're not gonna be able to see my stories. If you're watching on a computer, if you're watching on an iPad or some other sort of tablet, if you're watching on a smart TV, you guys aren't gonna be able to see stories using those devices, using those uh, platforms. So I'm thinking about, and I'm going to put out my YouTube stories to those of you that don't have access to YouTube stories. I want you guys to be able to see them. And also I don't want my stories just to dissolve for forever. I have a lot of fun things that I put on there and I feel like a lot of it's laid back. A lot of it is shopping and deals and a lot of it is stories exclusive. So if you're not watching stories or you're not watching the stories video that I'm gonna put up, you're not gonna see it anywhere else on my channel. It's like very exclusive and and it's very, a lot of it's just very much like just part of my little bits and pieces of my life mixed with work. It's like real life mixed with work life, mixed with randomness. Cooking, last night I was showing, thank you Simply Jessica, yes. Um, thank you Dee. Last night I just, showed my fish um, swimming around the little aquarium we got at Walmart. Um, and they were picking the rocks and making little noises. They were like picking down the rocks, looking for food. And it just was very peaceful. And then like I showed my cat and, you know, stuff like that. So I feel like it's a nice place where I can give you guys different sorts of content. And you guys can give me feedback and say, and say oh, I don't, I didn't really like that or, oh, I definitely want to see more of that. So I feel like it's a nice sounding board for me to have the freedom to try other things without pressure, without editing or anything like that. So yeah, you guys. But hey, I'm out of here, you guys. Um, I am off to do um, lots of things with the kids and the family. And I have a video scheduled for just about a little after six for you guys tonight. I'm not going on the whole hour anymore. I'm basically doing like 3.04, 6.06, because I know there's a lot of big, huge YouTubers out there that you guys love, probably a lot more than me. Thank you, Carmen. Um, I know there's a lot of big, huge YouTubers out there that you guys would probably prefer to watch over my videos. And so instead of competing with a lot of the big, huge YouTubers, I'm purposely staggering my videos to come out like four minutes after, six minutes after, sometimes 15 minutes after. I'm just trying to do it at times where maybe, okay, you've gotten your big, huge, exciting YouTuber content, shocking content out of the way, and now you can watch you know, my channel, which is more of a service channel, like I pretty much know my place, you guys, you know what I mean? And I think a lot of us, we we have to know our place and we have to stay in our lane and we have to understand how we help people. And I know my content may not be the most exciting. So I know it's a service, uh, My I have a service channel. And thank you, Jess, Jessica. I'm happy that you guys, do get excited when I post a video. But I also, like I said, I also stay in my lane and know that I'm not like, 
um, you know, posting like the most exciting stuff in the world. But I'm happy you guys like my content. I love my content. I love the content I create for you guys because it's what I'm passionate about. But I know in the scope of all that exists on YouTube, shopping channels may not be the most exciting to everyone. So yeah, so anyways, that's the purpose of me staggering and not putting out like, I'm not competing with Graveyard Girl. I'm not competing with people that have 10 million, 20 million, 30 million subscribers. Hey, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to fall back a little bit. I'm going to put it out. And, and, and then you guys can come and watch when you, you need your helpful channels. Anyways, I am um, blabbering. <laughs> Thanks, Carmen. This came from Amazon. I have a few of them. A few of these little pillows. I just recently washed the pillowcases, which is really nice because it has a little zip-off pillowcase. I have uh, three or four more of these. My mom got me these off Amazon a couple birthdays ago. I washed the pillowcases for the first time. And I, you guys see the little birdie on there? And then I air dried them. I feel like it had some dirty spots on it just from the kids playing around with them. Excuse me, you guys. That is a a little hunger burp. You guys ever get those and you're like, woo, where did that come from? But yeah, you guys, um, I guess it's time to eat again. I had my half a bagel and my banana and my coffee, and that's my body saying, you know what? We're hungry again. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, hey, you get it all when I go live. But yeah, you guys, I love you guys all so, so much. Be ready for that six o'clock video. That is gonna be um, that is gonna be my last trip that I took into Dollar Tree. Not my last video I filmed for you guys, but I have like three videos that were what's left on my shelves because I did a poll and that's what you guys had wanted to see when I put the poll up. So I kind of did a did a what's left in my Walgreens, what's left in my Target, and what's left in my Dollar Tree. And those were all filmed on Monday. So it's still like showing a bunch of cute stuff and new stuff. It's not just all like doom and gloom. Um, however, I do kind of hit some of the areas like in Target, I'm like, okay, do we have this? Do we have that? Like I kind of went through the checklist of things that people were really looking for, but then I also show other things and new products and, and I'm talking and I'm like, Ooh, I like this. Oh, wow. I'm surprised to see this. And so you guys, I still have like a positive spin on it. It's not like a depressing video or anything. And we do look at new products, which makes it fun for us because we can just add all these things to our, um, we can add all this stuff to our wish list for when we're over and done with all of this. So yeah, you guys have your um, phone ready or your piece of paper and pen ready and have your little wish list ready for um, potentially for Easter and summer gifts and all that stuff. Uh, thank you so much, Marie. You guys, thank you for being so loving. Thank you for being here and working with me. You guys, please leave a like on your way out. To those of you that are watching this on playback, thank you for being here as well. Please leave a like and help us smaller channels um, continue to exist during this time. A lot of us are supplementing with never seen before topics, never seen before um types of videos because we are trying to be thoughtful to the rest of the world, ourselves, our families, our health. We're trying to follow advice. And therefore that means if we typically film in public, we're not filming in public. We're showing pre-recorded content from maybe a week ago or maybe a few days ago. I'm just trying to supplement and make it last. I'm trying to make my food last for the family that I got a few days ago. And I'm trying to make the content that I have recorded for you guys last. We are all in this state of just trying to make everything last until things will possibly be safer or until we ultimately just can't hold on anymore and have to go to the store in order to give our kids food, food on the table. You know what I mean? So 
yeah, you guys, we're we're taking measures around here. I'm measuring cereal. I'm measuring milk. No one is going hungry, but everyone is just being a little more mindful of what they consume. You know what I mean? Anyways, I've gone into full blabber mode. <laughs> Hope you guys don't mind. Anyways, you guys, I'm out of here. And yeah, I might even do a homeschool video, show some of my favorite books and resources that I like to use. Just please keep um, hitting the like button. Put on one of my playlists. If you guys are cleaning or cooking, please help us smaller channels continue to exist during this time. Because without you guys watching, we are like a lot of everyone else in the world right now. If you guys don't watch, it's like we're out of work too. So please help us, help us thrive, help us um, hang in there. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. I might do another live. I'm trying to do a live every single day in addition to my videos. But if I don't do a live tomorrow, you guys will still get two videos. Um, yeah, you guys, I have a lot to share. A lot to share, a lot to share. I'm not going anywhere, you guys. I am not going anywhere at all. I am going to be right here for you guys every day with info, entertainment, uh, companionship. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, you guys. I love you guys all so, so, so very much. Thank you for spending some of your day with me. Thank you for the love. Love you, Jess. Love you guys all in the live stream. And to all of those of you, to all of those of you, yes, to all of those of you, I can't talk, to all of you watching on playback as well, you guys. This blabbermouth is signing out until tomorrow. Love you guys. I hope you enjoy every day and just try to make the most of these circumstances. Make the most of this time with your family. Do something nice for yourself. We are all going to get through this. And this is whatever you're doing in your life, this is all going to be a part of our history, right? This is something that when we're old and, you know, talking to our grandkids or great grandkids, this is part of our history that we are living right now. So you guys be strong, have fun, love your families, love yourself, make the most of it. This is something that all of us will have have gone through in our life and we got we've got to go through it with good attitudes and strength right you guys okay you guys i love you guys all so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys